Yeah, hi, good morning, everyone. Hi, good morning. Okay, can you see my screen? Nice. I hope you have subscribed for Azure free trial, right? Any queries? Okay, fine. See, uh, whoever not yet subscribed for Azure free trial, yes, go ahead and uh, subscribe for Azure free trial. See, now I am going to discuss about what? How to deploy one service in Azure. Okay, yeah, so generally uh, in uh, Azure, there is a hierarchical model, a hierarchical model in the sense like uh, first we have subscription. Okay, what is the subscription? Collection of resource group. Okay, what is the resource group? Collection of resources. Okay, I'm repeating. What is the subscription? Collection of resource group. What is the resource group? Collection of resources. Okay, great. Next. Uh, next, so this is a hierarchy. Uh, always you should follow this hierarchy <laughs> in Microsoft Azure. Clear? Yeah, so first thing, what is the subscription, guys? It's a call license. Okay, we had the variety of subscriptions. I can say uh, one is free trial, pay as you go model, pay as you go model. Next, enterprise edition. Okay, next Visual Studio Enterprise, Visual Studio Premium, uh, Visual Studio Developer, Microsoft Partner MSTP, and uh, Microsoft Student Life, we have n number of subscriptions. Okay, simply we can say uh, hierarchical format, what is the subscription? Collection of resource groups. What is the resource group? Collection of resources. Now, in left side, there is a one option called resource group. Okay, here we can go ahead and create what is that? New resource group. See guys, these many resource groups are there at this moment. Okay, I do have these many resource groups are there. So first I will go and create one fresh resource group. Please remem remember, it is very important. What is the subscription? Collection of resource group. So under this resource group, I can create a virtual mission, storage account, resource group, and uh, uh, what is that? A networking subnet details, load balancer, content delivery network, Azure SQL Server, recovery service vault, Microsoft Depender, everything that you can host it under resource group. Okay, yeah, great. Now, here I am giving resource group name can be anything, guys. I am giving PwC, PricewaterhouseCooper. Assume that this is the AI project, type AI, artificial intelligence, hyphen prod. This is the production environment hyphen rg so the naming convention can be anything pwc is the project name this is ai project prod hyphen rg so i have mentioned ai you can mention what some client name okay tax what is that tax hyphen prod hyphen rg the name can be anything okay next assume that i have mentioned ai as i said name can be anything so here what is the region Geographical location is called region. Note it down. Uh, geographical location called region. So where we can deploy our services. Okay, geographical location called region in the sense, what does it mean? Uh, assume that I had more customers in East US. What is that? East US. Yes, here we have East US. Or else if you have customers in India, go on deploy in South India. So what does that mean? We are bringing our application to closure, closure to customer. Okay, so if you have more customers in South India, so that our services will be available nearest customers. Okay, assume that I am pointing about East US, assume that I had more customers in East US. Next, click on tax. What is the tax, guys? Tax are name value pairs. Note it down. Tax are name value pairs, which will give the information about resources. 
Okay, so for example, I can give the details things, environment. I am giving this is for production. Okay, so uh, project. What is that project? AI project, Azure Artificial Intelligence project. Okay, owner, who is the owner? I can say Jason, Jason. Okay, now uh, email ID, owner email ID. I can say uh, Jason at the rate of pwc.com. Like that you can segregate the what, these tags, According to that, we can filter the data. According to that, we can uh, have more information about these particular services. Okay, very simple. Tags are name value pairs, which will give the information about resource. Okay, best real-time example. When you go for shopping mall, uh, assume that you would like to purchase some shirt and fan. The a shirt with contain one tag. So what it contain, guys, that tag, what it does contain? like price, brand, size, and uh, uh, manufacturing date, et cetera, et cetera. By look at these tags, we will come to know entire product information. Same way, by look at these tags, we will come to know what about that resource, what it does, who is the owner, what is the environment under. So that is the tags. Tags are, uh, this is mandatory feature. This feature is there for every service in Azure. Okay, now hit on review plus create. Okay, refresh one time. See guys, PwC iPhone, prod iPhone, uh, AI iPhone, RG. Now, when I click on all services, when I click on all services, see guys, here we have n number of resources. Okay, like uh, first category they have mentioned AI guys. Why? Because now entire market talking about AI, AI, AI artificial intelligence. Okay, next up, we have analytics, compute. When you go for compute, see here we have different types of services as pass, serverless, high performance computing and hybrid cloud. So under infrastructure as a services, we have virtual machines. See, virtual machines, VMSs. Okay, so this is the interview question. Like uh, what are the list of uh, infrastructure as a service have been implemented in our project. That is the question. Please list it down. List of as services implemented in our project. So you can say virtual machines, virtual machine scale set, and the desks, template, compute gallery, availability set, compute images. Okay, these are all we can list it down, guys. These are all we can list it down. This is the one entire question I explained you. Now, uh, like that, we have different categories. Each category, it has set of uh, services. The set of services can be used for different purposes. That all depends on requirement. Now, uh, first, uh, I would like to introduce about one sample AI service, guys, AI services. Next session, we will discuss about how to deploy one virtual machine. See, uh, here, artificial intelligence is nothing but, note it down, AI is a human intelligence. Human intelligence. Human intelligence means the behavior of the software like a human. So what we have to do? We have to learn, try, and accept the results. I am repeating, AI is a, like human intelligence where we can build, deploy, test, try the application is called artificial intelligence. Okay, uh, why I'm telling it is a human intelligence means the AI behavior like a human intelligence, like how human will behave here, right? So same thing we can expect from AI applications. Okay, yeah, so that is about what artificial intelligence. I am repeating, what is the artificial intelligence? It is nothing but human intelligence and the, where we can try, deploy, access the AI application is called artificial intelligence. Okay, very simple, where we can build, deploy, train, and access the models called artificial intelligence. Okay, now uh, under AI, okay, just I am giving one example. Under AI, we have different services, guys. Assume that this is the AI. So under AI, we have what? NLP, natural language processing. Other one is what? Machine learning. 
This is what machine learning. Okay, machine learning, it contains set of predefined models. Microsoft already, uh, they have designed predefined models and it comes under PASS. What is that? It comes under PASS. As I said in demo, we have three types of services. As, PASS, other one is what? SAS. Okay, so machine learning is what? Infrastructure as, sorry, platform as a services, PASS. So under machine learning, Again, we have deep learning. Again, we have deep learning. Under deep learning, again, we, it will come Gen AI, guys. Gen Data AI. Gen Data AI is bottom. So it is totally what? Uh, coding part. You should know C sharp, R language, okay, TensorFlow, uh, uh, and Python, that all. So here, I am going to design one machine learning. Microsoft provided pre built services. Now, see, guys. There is a one option called machine learning. Just click on. My intention is how we can deploy the services in Azure. That's it. Okay, next, create. What is that? Create workspace. See, as he said, what is the subscription? Collection of resource group. What is the resource group? Collection of resources. Can you tell me what is the resource I am going to create here? ML guys, machine learning. Okay, yeah. Now, uh, I am choosing uh, a... PwC iPhone, yeah, AI iPhone, what is that? Prod iPhone RG. Okay. Now here, name, name of the application is what? MSFT iPhone ML. MSFT means Microsoft iPhone ML. See where I would like to deploy East US. This is about East US. So inbuilt, this ML is required one storage account, key wall services, application insight, container registry. Note it down. So the ML to provision in service in Azure, which requires storage account, evolve services, and, uh, at, uh, and uh, application inside and container registry. So container registry also we will call it as ACR. ACR means Azure Container Registry, right? So why? Because uh, this AI model, whatever the components are there, they will go and deploy on top of all these services. Okay, so if you consider one car, assume that there is a one automobile car, car it contains tires, steering, and uh, what we have seating capacity and all. Same way, the machine learning, training model, storage account, where we can store the data, key wall services we will use for authentication, application inside to, uh, to monitor the application, container registry, uh, it will contain, uh, what is that? Uh, encrypted key that will be stored in container registry. Okay, next, and networking. As you said, in demo itself, there are two types of networks mainly, guys. In the world, if you go for any cloud, there are two types of networks. One is public, other one is what? Private. There is a, another thing is there, hybrid network. Okay, but it is the cost. So most of the companies, they are preferring either public or private. Okay, very limited companies, they are preferring to manage on-premises and cloud computing that we will call it as hybrid cloud. So coming to the networking, we have two types of network, public and private. So the service should be exposed to outside of the world. Yes, use this one. If it is only private, use this one. Or only approved outbound within the private specific network, choose this one. Okay, I am choosing public. Why? Because my learn machine learning functionality should expose the functionality to outside of the world. This is called public. Next, encryption. See, by default, every service is encryption in Azure. Okay, in order to provide high security for your data. By default, if you go for virtual mission, storage account, desks, whatever related to data, inbuilt that is encrypted, guys. It will encrypt your data and it will go and sits on top of Azure data center. Okay, yeah, next, identity. See guys, this is the identity I said, right? Key wall services. Key wall services, it will provide kind of authentication and keys. It will get valid against our app services. Okay, this is the storage account access. You know, right? Wherever the data, the data will come and sits on top of storage account only. You know, right? Uh, nowadays, data is important. Data, the word itself, it is the golden word nowadays. Why? Because uh, take personally, 
our self itself our personal data itself we have gbs and gb sub data if we consider one organization just assume that client their data activity access and iam functionality security uh, these many things we have to manage it so there would be a huge amount of data based on the data we can manipulate it guys that is how market now if data is available that's it uh, they are doing the market with it uh, with their data okay so if you register one site you will get many calls okay that number would be sharing with financial banking loans emis everything it will distribute then you will get a lot of calls so what does that mean data is transferring from one department to another department finally the data will come and sits on top of storage account here okay so i am choosing uh what is that credential uh credentials based access we need to pass username and password click on tax hit the tax of name value pairs just i give the information so assume that this is the environment fraud okay next who is the owner i mentioned jason and what is the client who is the client main client pwc guys i am mentioning pwc okay and uh, email address what is that email address jason at the rate of pwc.com now hit on review plus create it okay hit on review plus create it so again i am repeating here my intention is how we can host one service in azure so i have created subscription okay yesterday we discussed it next i created one resource group the resource group name is pwc iphone ea iphone uh, prod iphone rg underlying that i am deploying one machine learning pre-built services okay so what is the machine learning guys machine learning is a service in azure ai okay using that we can deploy the application our data and train the model predict the information predict the information is called machine learning okay machine learning is a part of azure ai okay here a microsoft azure ai is a set of cloud ai related services where we can train deploy and access the data is called machine learning Yeah, see guys, it has been deployed. Okay, the machine learning has been deployed successfully. See, if you need more information about documentation, learn more. See, this is about machine learning. See, what is the machine learning? Let's see. Azure machine learning is a cloud service. Just now I said, Azure machine learning is a what? One service in AI. And the main thing, machine learning project lifecycle. ML professional data science engineers can use day-to-day -day workflows train and deploy models and manage machine learning operations ml apps guys so you people are thinking about uh, nowadays uh dev apps okay uh next you can get devsec apps devsec apps okay next ml apps okay next category ai apps guys this is how market nowadays okay so whatever i am discussing about what it is part of ml apps okay directly they have maintained mission learning operations dev means dev and uh, uh, operations development and operations devs apps means development security operations yeah, ML apps means machine learning operations. AI apps means Azure artificial intelligence operations. So the definition could be anything. I mentioned Azure artificial intelligence learn, uh, operations. Simply we can say artificial intelligence operations. Okay, yeah, fine. What is a machine learning? Machine learning is a service in Azure AI where we can, what is that? Apply, try deploy the models and manage machine learning operation is called machine learning manage machine learning operation is called machine learning clear so this is the important definition so where we can use 
to predict the model. Predict the model in the sense, uh, if we consider, assume that Reliance, okay, assume that Reliance is there. Reliance, we have online store, offline stores. And uh, what is that? Marts, okay. Reliance Marts, Reliance Digital, Reliance Supermarkets, okay. Uh, variety of uh, uh, business they are running. So uh, in offline, they will store the data in their local database, okay. In cloud computing, like online stores, they will store the data kind of storage account. Now, uh, here, this is different mod. That data also stored in some different location. All these data bring into one location. From there, we will implement the model. Then it will predict which location, what, what product they are expecting. Okay, in Nellor, assume that there would be a, uh, televisions are high selling. Then they will maintain televisions more. Okay, in Hyderabad, they are looking for more about what is that? OLED TVs and all. They will maintain such kind of products. So prediction means just it will analyze, okay, this area they are expecting these kind of products more and more. According to that, they will make it ready. So if you observe now, nowadays in the market, there is no shortage. The productivity is high. If you are looking for something, we can get it in fraction of seconds. You need not have to wait uh, for a couple of months, couple of days, okay? Yeah, so that is the, uh, that all possible based on this AI and prediction models, okay? Yeah, so I have created, what is that? ML one service, sample services. If you go and observe, this is the URL, guys. If I click on URL, it will take us to ml.azure.com. The URL is ml.azure.com. I am pinging in the chart, you can use it. Okay, I am repeating Azure ML, the definition very clear. Azure ML, it contain number of pre-built services where we can deploy our data, train the model and perform the machine learning operation. It's called machine learning, guys. Okay, I am repeating. What is the ML? Azure ML. Azure ML is a set of pre-built or inbuilt services where we can deploy, manage, and train, access the machine learning operations is called machine learning. Okay, see guys, uh, this is the generate AI. Okay, so they had provided n number of services. When I click on it, see here we have compute, compute cluster, compute instance, database, uh, endpoint, model, which model you are using, Note. A notebook, pipelines, and train the job. Okay, many things are there. Okay, forget about it. Uh, these are all we can customize it. If you want to generate your uh, any model, your custom model, you can use generate UI. So this is the generate UI prompt flow. Okay, so we have n number of services. Okay, when I click on view all, see we have tons of uh, what is that? We have tons of model already which Microsoft has designed. This is Microsoft has designed. Clear? So this is A1 Jamba, uh, uh, Jamba instant here. This is PI serverless API. GPT-4 now available. Every day they are updating new technology, new enhancements, new features into this uh, ML. Now uh, in left side, see guys, here we have n number of features, notebook, auto ML, designer, prompt flow, training, data, jobs, compute, pipeline, uh, environment, models, endpoints, compute, mon and uh, monitoring, data labeling, linked services, and uh, connections. For example, uh, if you want to, I have deployed ML. In ML background, Microsoft has designed on top of one virtual machines. If you want to design your own virtual machine, you can go for compute and uh, click on compute cluster. You can create it here. See, I am going to create the cluster. This cluster will deploy on top of Kubernetes, guys. So in Microsoft Azure AI, we can call it as PaaS services. Let us see, now go for auto ML. Automated ML. Automated machine learning models okay now click on new job okay see guys these are the details you have to pass for example 
MSFT, Microsoft Typhon ML, Microsoft Typhon ML. This is the job name. So assume that I will maintain, uh, assume that there is a data in my local. My requirement, I issued analysis and provide the prediction. For example, there is a, uh, assume that bicycles are bikes selling. Uh, assume that 2020 year, they have sell it for assume that 300 units. Previous year, 2000 units. This year, how much sale we may expect it? How can I predict it? We have to verify weather condition. We have to verify environment. We have to verify business. We have to verify projects in the market. Uh, everything should analysis and provide the prediction. Prediction means something can expect uh, in future. Okay. So this is about what? ML. So now I here I am giving experiment. MSFT. Microsoft type and experiment. Okay. Here collection of jobs is called one experiment. Note it down. This is the job name. Collection of experiment is called job. So here I am giving Microsoft type and experiment. Next click on next. See this is the type of data. Always I am telling pre-built services, right? Here we have classification, regression, and uh, a time series forecasting, natural language processing, and compute vision. Okay, see guys, here first I am going to discuss about regression. Regression in the sense to predict continuous numeric value. For example, consider automobile industry. Uh, assume that Tata. Okay, Tata Nexon, last year they have purchased 32,000 units in India. Assume that 2020. In 2021, they have sell it around 41,000 units in India. 2022, uh, they sell it around 30,000. 30,000 assume that due to COVID or not. Now 2023, they sell it around 50,000 units. Now they would like to predict how many, how many, units they may sell it for 2024. It based on this data, it will predict maybe 60,000 units, depends on current environment. Okay, that is how it will predict and provide the information, right? Now, I'm choosing the regression, okay? Regression in the sense, it is predictive model, what will happen in future, okay? It will analysis the data, according to that, it will provide the information. That is called regression. Okay, so regression always it is in numerical value. Now, here set the data. Where is your data? This is your important. Assume that uh, any organization, any business, they will maintain their data in one centralized location. Where is your data that you have to choose? That would be SQL Server, that would be Storage Account, that would be Azure SQL Server, that would be Oracle Database, that would be some, uh, what is that? Uh, raw data, whatever it is. Okay, so next select the data. When you click on select the data, mention I am giving my data. What is that? My Microsoft MSFT data. Now select it and use it. So the data should be displayed in the format of table structure. Now click on next. See, this is about where is your data? Destination, guys. You have to mention destination. Got it. My data is there in storage account, our local file, our SQL server, or from web file, or from Azure open data sets. Assume that my, my data is there in live. Now click on it. Next. So what is the URL? I am giving HTTPS colon uh, aka dot ms slash bike hyphen rentals. See, this is the raw data, guys. Raw data means uh, go and access it. it. It has been downloaded. Now go to here, extract it. Okay, so see, the data has been stored like this. Okay, see guys, this is 2011th data. What is that? 2011 data. Scroll down. Every month data. 
So this is the 2012 data. So every month, okay? So this is the 11th month. This is the 12th month, okay? Monthly wise, how many bikes they have sell it, it is giving the information, okay? So this is the first month. In the 2011 January, every day they sell the bike like these many units, okay? Like uh, 33112, okay? They have the data, previous data. By taking this data, it will analysis and predict the sales data in coming future, coming year. Okay. So what I will do now, this is the data, right? Now uh, go to here. Okay. So anyhow, it is taking uh, downloading. It is not taking, there would be some issue because of uh, trial version. What I will do now, uh, you can go back. I will choose it from local. Okay, choose the local. Next, this is the storage. Here we have storage. Okay, now select it and upload the folder. I am going to upload that file. Which file it is? Uh, go to downloads, bike rental, apply. Yes, I am uploading the date. Okay, click on next. Okay, see guys, it is giving me the data. Have you observed? So whatever the file we have uploaded, it is formatted nicely. Nicely it is formatted. Okay, so first day, 2011, season one. So weekday, um, work day, six bytes, work, uh, working day, and the warehouse it, temperature, and it is taking human, and the wine speed, rental. How many rental they have provided? 331 rental bikes they have provided. Like that, they have formatted the data nicely. So that is the raw data. Okay, that is the raw data, but nicely it is formatted. Clear? Now click on next. This is the uh, different types of what? Columns, guys. Today, how many bike cycle went for sale? Okay, this month, year, season. Season means winter. Okay, summer, that is the season. Holidays, people. Holiday, how many bikes you can sell it? Okay, work day, working day. And the temperature, attempt, everything we have to consider to predict the uh, selling in coming future or coming year. So this is about what? Uh, the data, click on next and finish it. So just create it. So this is how, what? We can uh, configure the what? Prediction models. See guys, already data is there inside of the, my data set. Now you have to define the model. See, choose the regression or classification. So classification is different. Classification means here you can upload n number of pictures, guys. Pictures, celebrities' pictures, or old popular businessman pictures and all. So they can classify gent. <clears throat> Okay, a male, female, or something else. They can classify it. Okay, apart from that, uh, let's see another example I will give you, classification. Classification in the sense, like uh, you are using Flipkart and Amazon.com. You have purchased one TV. Okay, if you observe the reviews, there would be uh, negative review, reviews, positive reviews. Okay, so I want to filter negative reviews, positive reviews, and the neutral reviews as well. Assume that one TV purchased by 100 members, okay? 80 members provided the what? Reviews. Out of uh, 80, 20%, 20 members are positive, remaining 80% are negative, okay? Remaining 20% are neutral. They did not provide any review. So first we will verify what is the positive reviews, okay? Whether really they are expecting or not what they are expecting, any new feature they are expecting, they will analyze, it will implement it. To classify the reviews, to classify the data, to classify the images, we will use classification. Okay, so this is about classification model. Next, regression means currently which we are using. It should be predict in future, what is the selling price, what would be the selling units that I would like to expect it. 
ओके यू नो राइट नवेडेस एवरीथिंग इज टेक्नोलॉजी ओके फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू आर वाचिंग क्रिकेट इट विल गिव दी इंफॉर्मेशन राइट इंडिया विन परसेंटेज वुड बी 90 परसेंट सम अदर कंट्री विनिंग परसेंटेज वुड बी 10 परसेंट इट विल गिव द इंफॉर्मेशन बाय वाचिंग द क्रिकेट इट सेल्फ वी विल कम टू नो दैट ओके विच वन विल गेट विन एंड ऑल स्टिल वी विल वॉच this one why because that is the power of technology okay so it that is what prediction they will analyze and give the prediction winning possibility same way here i would like to predict what would be the sale next month next year how many units we can sell it how many uh, vehicles we can provide for rental and all okay now click on next okay see guys this is the model this is important when i click on it see these are the models microsoft has provided variety of models in the market when you go for machine learning we can see only these models 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay mostly we can use pre built models itself if you are expecting beyond that more customization then microsoft giving the opportunity you can go on develop your application based on these models okay yeah next i am going to choose a required model okay so this is the primary metric and this is about what back end models based on whatever the data you have provided okay it will pull analyze based on this model and provide the output okay click on save it next what is the target column i need bike rentals okay how many rentals uh, it's gone for yesterday day before yesterday last week last month last year and that based on that it will predict and give the information okay next uh, here limits see how many trials you should happen okay so three trials it will train three times next maximum uh, concurrent trials three and the maximum nodes this model should run background on top of three virtual machines maximum node in the sense here virtual machines okay next it should take maximum 15 it should take maximum 15 minutes click on next see it's done this this is the compute guys compute in the sense according to the infrastructure charges are applicable so here it is taking four cpus and 14 gb memory okay for our cost is 0.29 dollars for our you have to pay around 50 rupees okay if you want to go high end for example i am choosing 14 gb 100 gb storage so this is what 0.18 hours per dollar per hour so yeah so this is the training model 0.25 dollar per hour so depends on your requirement we will proceed and choose it at this moment this is the low level i can go ahead and choose limited 16 cpu 30 32 gb memory okay verify it uh, in pre trial it is working or not how many instances should be back and it should run i, I can mention one or two okay you can mention one or two it depends now click on next uh, hit on submit the training job have you observed these are the technical we are applying training job so already we provided the data bicycle rental data so it will train and provide the prediction what is the prediction here you need to write the code that is different story now submit it okay so the submission itself it will take like uh, 15 to 15 minutes why because it is large size of services to provision take the data uh initiate the training predict analysis okay and uh, uh having that information uh, inside of this service that all this process okay it will take around 15 to 20 minutes okay so here not yet started uh, in the notification here you can check automated ml job in experiment is running in job details see now it has been started running okay so this is about what machine learning one service in azure 
uh, artificial intelligence like that whatever the data it is there uh, in storage account in your local machine let it be it will train the model finally it will predict the information so out of six services i am using regression model regression means predict prediction okay regression in the sense simply in our keywords we can say what you want to become become as in next five years that is the interview question right in next years in next five years what you want to be here in this organization you can say project manager you can say team lead and all same way so next year what would be the prediction sale how many sell uh, how many bikes they are going to sell in coming physical year that prediction can happen using regression model. Regression is the one model in Azure Machine Learning language. Okay. So it will take some time, like 20 to 30, sometimes it will take 15 to 20 minutes, depends on infrastructure and that. Okay. So this is about what? How we can configure machine learning and push the data. Okay. Here, main thing here I am pointing is first thing subscription and resource group. Next resource. Here resource I have created sample one ML job. Okay. So this is the worry of uh, Azure cloud computing and Azure portal. How we can navigate specific service and provision as per business requirement. Okay. So this is the worry. If you have any questions, feel free and ask me. In next session, we'll discuss about how to create virtual machines, how to deploy the applications and uh, uh, i will take it forward this discussion we will complete it sample example okay see it is training the model starting up the job it is training the model based on uploading the data the data we have uploaded right that csv format that are taking care about do you have any questions Hope no, right? Yeah. Okay, guys. Thanks for your time. Tomorrow, uh, maybe on session Monday, whoever is interested, you can contact to Durga Soft people. They will take you further. If you had any uh, technical questions, you can reach out to me. Shoot your question directly to me. Yeah. Uh, someone is asking. Okay, yeah, next session would be is Monday. Uh, when we'll have the Linux and the shell scripting? Yes, guys. Tomorrow we'll dis uh, I mean, Monday we'll discuss about Windows. Next Tuesday we'll discuss about Linux system. Okay, I'm not going to cover any scripting part, Linux scripting part here. Okay, Linux basics, how we can deploy the application on Linux missions how we can perform some operations on top of Linux, that all we will discuss it. Okay, okay thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, thanks for your time. Tomorrow I'll turn back. Bye, have a good day. Bye.